I want to talk about some pop-up books. Pop-up books are books that have interior structures that pop up when you open them. They are <coughs> engineering marvels because when you close a book, they go back inside. Pop-up books are long-term. They've been around for a while. But this guy, Robert Sabuda, is the master. He is the genius of pop-up books. And there are two pop-up books I wanted to tell you about. Beauty and the Beast is the one. And um, there aren't that many actual pages in the book, but there are a lot of pieces and a lot of paper. So this is Beauty and the Beast by Robert Sabuda. And when you open it up, there is this castle that appears in many, many layers. And it's inside the book. There's a tree, there's a horse, there's stuff going on. And there's even secondary um, things to open up on the side. And you tell and read the story. And of course, this is a children's pop-up book. So um, you get to read the story and tell the story and interact with it. But look at that, that is just amazing. Close that page and here we go. We open up the beast. Look at that. That is just awesome. It's just magnificent. And it's just ingenious. Here we have the table scene with the candelabras and sitting at the table, Beauty and the Beast. And um, it's just incredible that this appears on its own as you open the page. Here's the dance scene and it's just magnificent. Again, you can read the story, um, but these things appearing are, as I said, engineering marvels. Just amazing. And again, there are usually additional things to open up and um, uh, other little secondary things on the pages as well. So that's Beauty and the Beast. But there's another book, Robert Sabuda has a bunch of books. Another one that I really like is the um, Prehistoric Dinosaurs. And um, this one is also remarkable. There are, again, side things to open up as well. Here is, that's just so amazing inside a book. So again, you can read the stories about these and then they just hide back inside. Oh, this guy, I'm not sure what happened to him. Children have used this book. Oops, it's like his foot came out. Um, this might need a little repair. I hadn't noticed that. Um, here is the Brontosaurus. And here's a scale of an elephant. It's really cool. Just amazing. Oh, and the T Rex. That is just, just amazing. Woo! The raptors. So, Robert Sabuda, Dinosaurs and Beauty and the Beast. This little wireless Bluetooth speaker is called the Dodo Cool. It only weighs three ounces. You can usually get it on Amazon for a little over $10. And uh, lasts about four hours on a charge. It's a lot better than the speaker on a phone. 
And so I bring this with me when I travel. Like I said, it's three ounces. It weighs almost nothing. It doesn't take up any room. You can see I can fit it in my fist. It's a great way to listen to podcasts and music in a hotel room. It also works as a speakerphone, which I haven't tried before. And it also supposedly doubles as a camera button, uh, a remote camera shutter for your phone. You just double click on this and it can trigger your smartphone's camera. Again, I haven't tried that. I've just used it as a speaker. This worked really well for that. The Dodo Cool wireless Bluetooth speaker. These little tools are called the OXO Keyboard Deep Clean Set, which includes a bristled brush, a loop brush, and a microfiber cloth that comes in its own pouch. I use the bristle brush to take on sticky messes that are tough to reach and remove, and the loop brush I use to clean off the dust between the keyboard keys. I then wipe off my keyboard with a retractable soft brush for my other OXO tool called the Laptop and Screen Cleaner, which on one end has a microfiber pad that you can use to remove fingerprints and smudges from any type of screen. Both of these OXO tools together cost less than $20, and you can find them in the link below.